in the heart of the Rockies. Deadly ice. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And rural roads. Gotta go straight ahead for a bit. The tow truck's still not here. Wreak havoc for Wade's team as they struggle to slice and dice this massive house. Hey, whoa, whoa. Hey, whoa. Hey, whoa. Hey, whoa. Well, now we got an open house today. To haul it to a new home across the frozen prairies. <laughs> oh, my God. Ever think of moving to the country? Then this is the crew to call. No! Hey, that's so slow! Up on your passenger side. They'll move your dream home to your dream location. But hey, hey. it won't be easy. Oh, 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 oh. Even for the world's toughest. Oh. Cabin truckers. Most of us can only dream of waking up to views like this in the country. But that dream is already a reality for the Weisgarber family. Oh. Loretta and Regan and their two young boys, Reggie and Marshall, love life in the country. The small community they live in has so much to offer that it's become a top tourist destination. In the summer, the population swells by four or five times with uh, summer vacationers coming out to their cabin, plenty of fishing and just hanging out at the beach. With a growing family, a local cottage rental would be a great investment. So they've turned to Wade's house moving to find them the perfect home to move on to their property to rent out. They've been looking for a big house for us. We've looked at a couple, and this is the one we ended up choosing. It just happened to be a Cape Cod style, which is fantastic. Triple dormers, bay windows, double-sided staircase. It's just, it's gorgeous. Moving this massive house will be one of the biggest jobs Wade and his sister Jaylene have ever taken on. It's strictly a family affair, so they've called in their brother and crew boss, Kelly, to help them make sure this mammoth job is done right. Morning. Hey, perfect timing. We have this house that I need you to see. It's a little bit of a challenge. Oh, we always like challenges. Yeah. So I sold this Cape Cod style house. So what we have to do is we're gonna cut. You coming? We're gonna, no. Okay. <laughs> you guys are gonna cut this piece off. Oh. This house is so huge, the only way to move it is to cut it into three smaller sections. First, they have to remove five feet of the super tall roof without damaging the dormers. Then they'll cut right through the bathroom. It's drastic surgery, but it's the only way they can haul this hefty house down the road. He was just really concerned about it being cut. So we are gonna actually help them put this all back together, which we don't normally do. How many loads is it? Three. That's with the roof? Well, no. no. Where's the roof going? Four. I don't know. That's... I thought you'd put it in the back of your pickup. What's your job? Oh, no. It's 40 feet long. <laughs> it looks like a pretty big job, but they're going to give me lots of guys. We got both, both crews there, so uh, it's going to be a little easier on me. <laughs> Wade and Jaylene meet Loretta and Regan to talk them through the plan for the big move. Oh, here they are. Hi. Hey. How nice are you guys? You. Nice to meet you, Regan. Hey, you too. Let's go have a look. Oh, this is, yeah, this is amazing. This beautiful four-bedroom home has an impressive fireplace, original hardwood floors, and lots of windows to let in plenty of natural light. Slicing and dicing the house without wrecking its beautiful features won't be easy. They need to know when to use a sledgehammer and when to use a scalpel. I'm planning to go right here, right across the floor up the roof, which lines up with the eave outside. I was really happy that Wade could make it here today, and I think that um, with him and Regan being able to go over everything that we're cutting, I think we put their minds at ease. Walls built in both sides, and walls built on both sides of that. Wade's going to take it over from here. Your house is in his hands. The house and the move will cost $217,000. Wade's crew has just four days to cut and truck this hefty 85-ton house 210 kilometers from the busy city to Loretta and Regan's serene cottage retreat. To make it, the crew must battle rush hour traffic, deadly driving conditions, and street lights that are too close for comfort. It's 9 a.m., first day on site. This job is gonna be so tough Wade has called in every member of his team to help. We just got here. We're 
stripping the garage right now so we can get it loaded and out of the way. We got trees getting ripped out of the ground, getting moved all over the place. We'd be a little tight for time, so we really got to get going and get this stuff loaded. With double the crew, Kelly plans to divide them up to conquer this Goliath fast. We got guys downstairs stripping the basement out. We got Kevin and Ed in here cutting the walls here. We got the backhoe guy digging on the end there, and uh, three or four guys over on the garage. Inside, the crew gets to work separating the bathroom from the house. We got to measure here and make sure we cut this building straight across so it looks really good when we get to the other site. Next job, demo the foundation. Kelly's hoping there's a crawl space on the other side of this concrete wall. If there isn't one, they'll have to spend hours digging a hole or trenching under the house to make space to slide in their giant lifting beams. Oh, it doesn't look good. We'll have to dig it out a little bigger because it looks like we're going to have to trench it, too. There's a floor there, but it's built on pavement. So we're going to have to excavate down. This part of the house was built over the top of an old driveway. They'll have to dig eight feet down under the driveway to make a tunnel for their steel beams. The deeper in they go, the greater the chance that the asphalt could bust loose and cave in on their heads. And if they remove too much ground, the house could become dangerously unstable. This is one deep tunnel. The asphalt could crumble at any minute. So that piece fell out already, eh? Yeah, yeah, two feet over there. Unreal. So we're not actually where we'd like to be. I was really hoping to see main beams going in today or, or ready for mains, and they're not going to be. It's probably going to be noon tomorrow, so we're kind of half a day behind already. They continue to tunnel late into the night. They're now a whole day behind schedule, and their battle with this enormous house has only just begun. Stable foundations have put Wade's team a whole day behind schedule hauling Loretta and Regan's massive house to their property. They dug tunnels for their beams late into the night. You ready, boys? Now they have to get the severed bathroom up and onto the truck. Now we're going to get our beams in, and hopefully we can get that loaded right away. We're just going to back this trailer in here. We're going to slide it right over onto that trailer. Bring her. Okay, good, good. Yeah, we're pretty good, yeah. With the bathroom up, Kelly proves he's king when it comes to hauling homes and has finally found his throne. Next job, lift the massive main part of the house. Just getting our main beams in place here. Just about ready to see if we can break this big house loose. I think we're just getting everything ready underneath the building on our main. We had to put a bunch of blocking and everything. Should be almost ready to try lifting this thing. If the house lifts up easy, they can make up for lost time. Hold it, hold it, hold it. But there's a major problem. Only one side of the house is lifting. The other side is so heavy, it won't budge an inch. It's your jackhammer, it is. It's bolted down, eh? The house is bolted right into the concrete. With time ticking away, it's all hands on deck to break it free. We have to jack on our oldest wall on this side. They're using all the manpower they've got, but it's still taking too long. This machine is going to do the work of 10 guys in half the time. It's slowly coming free. The more vibration, the more concrete you can break, the less it's holding the building down. With most of the concrete and bolts out, they lift again. Okay, you ready? Yeah. After an epic battle, the house is finally up. Well, it's up in the air now, and uh, put some dollies under it. Get that girl going down the road. They plan to roll the house along these beams to get it onto the truck. 
I'm gonna set it down right there. Ready? Boys are just putting it in the last slider. We'll hook up two winch lengths, and we're gonna suck that over across. Twinkie! This house is so big, they must use both the crane and winch to heave it onto the truck. Slow down a little. They have to go slow, or all 85 tons could slide out of control. Getting pretty close to the end, eh? Come on! Whoa! What's up, buddy? With the house safely on the truck, it's time to raise the roof. This is a critical maneuver. The roof is extremely fragile and could crush beyond repair when they lift it. Yeah, go up some more. Go up low with more, Slinky. You gonna say no? Yeah. Tell him to go that way. Whoa! Hang on! One more oh. cable! Whoa. Hang on, three! Not all the roof beams are cut free. Hold on a second. There's one more. Don't move it! Okay, go up! You need to go swing it away from the house. There we go. Now you're free from the other roof. Well, now we got an open house today. We just got the roof off. We're patching up the, the hole. And we're all loaded, pretty much ready to go. Everything's done. Just a little bit of cleanup. Gonna button that roof up and uh, so we can get this baby on the road. It's been a tough day, but the guys know the hardest part of the move is yet to come. It's uh, pretty big, heavy load. Hopefully we don't run into no weather and hopefully we get to the destination uh, with uh, no incident. The move will begin at 1 a.m. to avoid daytime traffic. This will be one tough cross-country trek. The roads are covered in two feet of ice and snow, and police have given Kelly just five hours to haul all four loaded trucks past city limits. We got all hands on deck for this uh, fairly big move here. We got a timeline to meet again. We're slow. Heading on to the road, guys. Not crank it hard, buddy. Right off the lot. Come my way. They hit their first obstacle. Go over. You gotta miss this light. Stay over there. Stay over there. Two a.m. Come my way. Kelly's crew has made it onto the road, but has run right into a street light. Stay over there. Stay over there. You gotta go straight ahead for a bit. You're real close here. You got like that far up there. Just stay over there. You can't come this way, not yet. The frozen narrow streets make maneuvering around the post almost impossible. Go ahead. Now he's pretty close. Good. We just touched it. They're past the post, but they're not out of the woods yet. Come to the passenger side, Kevin. You got like 10 feet over here, and you guys are rubbing the trees on the drivers. Come on, guys. A parked car stops them dead in their tracks. What are you waiting for? There's not enough room to get by. With a schedule this tight, the crew can't afford this kind of delay. No truck make it there yet? No, not yet. Still waiting on a tow truck to move one vehicle that's in the way up here. Oh, well, we got to get this car moved. With the tow truck taking too long, the guys decide to take matters into their own hands. More yet. Yeah. Got to go more. One, two, three. OK. Looks like moving houses isn't the only thing these guys are good at. Yeah, about eight guys. We just manually moved it over. The tow truck's still not here. With the road clear, now they must make up time. You're good, buddy. 
Good on the overhead, Kevin. Awesome, no. After five long hours, they make it to the city limits where they'll get some much needed shut eye. We made it out of the city. Everything went good. Uh, we got everything parked over here now, and uh, we're going to shut her down till morning, get a little shut eye, and then we'll uh, give her when the sun comes up. It's 9.30 in the morning, and the crew hopes to make it to the final destination today. Come in if you want. Bring her out, bring her out. Hey, boys, let's do her. Keep her down, boys. We're coming in hot. Heading off the highway, Kelly knows the driving conditions on the smaller roads can be deadly. We're taking this uh, gravel road. It's a little icy here. Hopefully, you don't have to put the tire chains back on. The rural roads are covered in sheets of ice, and this 90-degree turn is particularly tight. If they're not careful, all 85 tons could take a nosedive into the ditch. You don't want something like that and that big sliding. Keep coming. You, you can't go over this way anymore. You're going to be in the ditch with the dollies. Oh! Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Back up one. Just go easy when you're going to stop, though. OK, that's probably enough. We're gonna be, I don't know, it's gonna be close. Stay over there as far as you can, Kev. Oh, he's good. You're good. You're good on the path. You're looking good. The wheels are up on top of the pavement. I'm coming. You're all right. We're all right. You're looking good. Yep. Bring it back. I thought we were out of the tight stuff. They've made it through the gravel roads, but the next leg of their journey will put everyone under pressure. Ah, uh, it needs to be shut down, boys. Uh, he's right against the rail right away here, Kevin. We're not going to fit. You're right against the rail, and you need a foot. This cabin is stuck between a rock and a hard place. If this 85-ton load hugs the rails too hard, the pressure could cause the tires on the driver's side to smoke and explode. But if Kelly presses his luck and tries to push past the light, he could damage the house's iconic Cape Cod dormers and destroy expensive city property. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, can hit. Kelly's four truck convoy is stuck on the highway, wedged tight between a side rail and a traffic light. But we gotta lift it still. We need a piece to lift it. We need him, we need him. What about my picker? You think I can move it just enough? Michelle, back, or back up a little bit and go up with your fifth wheel. Yeah, I'll just see what it does. It's a long shot, but using the truck's hydraulics to raise the house up a little could buy them some much-needed space to squeeze by. Okay, whoa! Go ahead. Come on, bring it. Stay cutting your back. Stay, go straight ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, cut it back. You're by. We're by. Right. Come my way now. Come my way. They literally squeak by. Kelly can't believe his gutsy move actually worked. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Now they're just a few miles from their final destination. Loretta and Regan are overjoyed their new house has arrived. I was so excited! <laughs> it's here. It's in place. But they know they're still a long way from home sweet home. Now if we can get it straightened out, <laughs> slide it on. <laughs> The crew gear up to slide the house onto its new basement. We gotta move that pile right tight to the other one. What are we waiting for? Okay, coming down. You ready, kid? Coming down now. Here we go. And touchdown. It may be on the foundation, but this move is far from over. They aren't done until they've put this gigantic jigsaw back together. Coming down, boy. We're gonna hit that side over there. Oh, heads up. 
Are we good like that? Looking good, boys. Roof on. Next task, reattach the bathroom. This will be trickier. We're just now prepping to lift it up with one picker on each side. The bathroom is top heavy and tall. Both cranes must work in perfect unison to keep it level, or it could topple over. Easy. Hey, just go easy, though, boy. It's up, but it's far from level with the rest of the house. Yeah, like how much? You, I still gotta come down. Like, come down a bit, Twinkie. Whoa, 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 whoa. Close just isn't good enough. They need a wrecking bar or something. Okay, just a minute. Come on, watch it, watch it. Let it down. It put up one heck of a fight, but the house is now back together in one piece. That's good. Well, it was a bit of a struggle getting that uh, right tight together, but uh, we got her done. Loretta and Regan can finally breathe a sigh of relief. Yeah, we're super relieved now that the house is here. It's on its foundation. Yeah, it's good to see it all come together like this. Wade's happy his crew pulled off this monster of a move without a hitch. Time to celebrate. I just wanted to say here's a cheers to the, your new home here, and I hope everything goes good, and you appreciate your beautiful view you have of the valley. Cheers to that. <laughs> oh, you better not have too much of that. <laughs> <laughs>